Good morning. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 a.m. on Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've been up for a little bit trying to get my brain moving, trying to do the things, you know, like to try to be in a place where I can actually get up and moving earlier in the morning so that I will be more tired earlier in the evening and that whole thing. I went to bed a bit earlier last night, but uh, not as much as I need to be for my uh, overall plan here to shift my sleep schedule back a little bit. But, you know, again, I'm swimming upstream a little bit, what with the daylight savings time just having happened and all that. But uh, it's good you know it's like it's just it's like it's not a problem it's just something I'm working on you know um, I think that there's a lot of things like that you know that we can have in our lives where it's it's like it's not that there were mistakes made before as much as you feel like this this thing that I'm I'm holding here this imaginary hypothetical thing is something I'm working on right I feel like this could be improved it's not that it's bad it's that it could be even better you know I got that meme from the Wonder Woman movie life could be good life is good but it could be better that sort of thing um, now uh, I lost my train of thought because I started thinking about that movie um, the Oscar nominations came out yesterday and it kind of took me off guard a little bit because I kind of had forgotten they were going to happen because we're so off of the normal schedule. Like, you know, often, I feel like my camera is bouncing. Um, often the timing of the Oscars would have, like it certainly would have already proceeded through by now. And then it was also just a case where like, is this even a year where there, you know, like a lot of movies got delayed, there weren't as many big tentpole releases, you know, so it so feels a little weird this year. And I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't really even been paying any attention to things like the Golden Globes or, uh, you know, the Emmys this year, but the Oscars is something that I definitely follow every year. Mike and I have done our Oscar marathons for, for years now, and so... Uh, it's something I do pay attention to, and obviously, as we say every year when we do those Oscar marathons, it's not like the Oscars are some perfect arbiter of what's good and what's not. Like, that's silly. Like, it's of course they're not. Um, you know, the Oscars, to a large extent, are a Hollywood popularity contest, just like anything else. But it's also true that I think, you know, in, in life, there are, are so many different things to choose from in an entertainment perspective that you've got to set like your personal filters for how you narrow down the selection of the things that you choose to um, watch versus what you, you know, decide, eh, I can miss that, right? And so lots of times our filters can be set to uh, just like this is the kind of movie that I like and so I only watch those kinds of movies but one of the things that I do find valuable about the Oscars in general is it's a way of filtering the movies to a subset where a lot of them are going to be movies that I might not ordinarily seek out like or I might not like I might see the trailer and say uh, I don't know I'm not sure if I'm as interested but when it gets an Oscar nomination, there's at least that element of like a vote of like, there are people who think this movie is really good. And so that and putting it in the context of, I want to try to see, you know, if I see all five of the nominees, then I feel educated and informed to make my own choice about which I think should win. And so that's just another way to you know, kind of help choose what movies I see, right? And frequently what happens that is my favorite part of that whole 
experience is that I will find a movie that I really love that I would not have watched otherwise. And so that's, uh, you know, that's, that's what I like about the Oscars. And, you know, it could be like, I could have just easily, just as easily picked the Golden Globes as the one, but I feel like the Golden Globes overall feels a little sillier than the Oscars to me, even though the Oscars are still pretty silly. Um, and then it, it's funny, though, that I happened to, uh, I, I am glad that I made a point of watching um, Judas and the Black Messiah when I did, because it was, in fact, the last day that they had it available for streaming free on HBO Max. Well, I guess it's, you know, no additional price on top of what you would already be paying to have HBO Max. But uh, it's a little weird in hindsight for it to be available to stream right up until the day that it gets a bunch of Oscar nominations. Um, but yeah, I, I, I chose to watch it for that reason, not because I, you know, for the reason that I thought it was going to go away from streaming and, and didn't even realize the Oscar nominations were coming the next day. But in any case, i can going on and on at this point, so I'll just leave it there, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.